Went to see Dad. I was like, oh, yeah, Dad I wouldn't mind uh, getting on a bike. And I uh, was really enjoying going down the track after school and, uh, you know, just sort of being free, I guess, uh, riding around the track. Ended up making the Australian team in the under-15s. Went on my first interstate trip. Came back with two Australian records and three gold medals. And so at that time, been riding for three months. From the age of about 17 through to 21, it was pretty tough from a media point of view, you know, family point of view, financial point of view, because I was sort of on the outer, I guess, in the sport. It was a bit of a hothead and the fact that I like to go out and socialise and sort of got me in, in trouble. I lost my scholarship uh, with the AIS and you know, my wife uh, fell pregnant as well in the lead up to Beijing Olympics. Couldn't really see the cycling going anywhere. There wasn't really a light at the end of the tunnel with it. I knew, you know, we had a child coming, and you know, we've got to provide for the family. So I applied for the army in uh, late 2008 and was accepted. Two weeks later, uh, I got an invite uh, from overseas, and I thought, you know, this is pretty cool. Opened it up, and sure enough, it was an invite to come to Japan. They give you the opportunity to race the Kieran and, and win the prize money at those races. So there's a pretty big risk involved. Kind of on your own. So you need to really learn what you need to do in training and how to communicate really well. You have to be really self-motivated because you don't have the people like the sports scientists, the, the coaches every day. It's quite a sacrifice from the athlete's point of view. Yeah, apparently I'm the favourite for, for this event, which is, uh, sort of caught me off guard a little bit. Um, obviously it adds a little bit of pressure to go out there and win. There's quite a thrill in um, doing such a short race. There's so many things that can happen, funny enough. But while you're out there, you've got to be really instinctive because you haven't got much time to actually think kind of have to find that place that you just go to and um, yeah, just let things happen. I get out there and challenge myself. No one else gets in the way of that. I either succeed or I fail and I've only got myself to blame. And someone said to me, a leopard never changes its spots. I said to them, yeah, you're right, mine hasn't changed. It's got me to where I am today.